Matt Frost with Rocky Mountain Race Week here. We're on our fifth day of drag racing and we're doing the Chillin' with Chet shootout. And we did something a little bit different this year. You uh, finished your average on the fourth day and on the fifth day of racing, we went into a heads up shootout deal. So we have the fast eight, which are the top eight cars. We have the uh, lead eight, which is the from eight on. And then we have a rowdy radio class. And then we also have the index class. So everybody has to actually do a shootout this time. We wanted to bring racing and drag racing into this instead of it just being a time trial deal. Now we actually brought the, the racing into race week and that's what we're trying this year. We really wanted to do this for a long period of time. So we thought we'd give it a shot now. Shootout. You want to talk about awesome. I think this is going to change drag and drive as it is now. Another thing that we were doing this year that's new is we wanted to do more for the co pilot seeing as how they're the unsung heroes. Uh, BMF brought these uh, reaction chairs, and so what we did is every day of the week we uh, had a race on the reaction for the co pilots. And they, the winner every day got $100, and then the two, four finalists out of every day went into a, a heads up challenge here on the last day for $1,500.
tires hard enough on that one, we tore the valves down right out of the tube. So, got a new tube in it, trying to get it all inflated, deflated a couple times, get it all seated, and should be good to go. This will be the final. Yeah, this yeah. one's for the money. <laughs> so we kind of want to be there. <laughs> so here we are getting close to doing the finals for the shootout. So you need to think about this. So these guys drove these cars 1,400 miles. Not only did they drive them 1,400 miles, but the shootout, now they have to go rounds. They have to push it to the limit. The cars are already tired. They've already been worn for a while. And now these guys are pushing them to the limit and hoping that they will make every round to get that to that winner circle. That's a huge feat in itself. If you don't think that the cars are killer because of the road miles and stuff, then when you go to look at it, that they're actually racing these cars the last day and pushing them to their ultimate limit to make that win and keep them going. Uh, that don't say street car, I don't know what does. So we got the <laughs> we got the air mods going on over here. Hoping we can uh, beat George in the final, but we made it 1,300 miles, so, and to make it to the finals, so that's pretty, uh, pretty cool, so I'm excited. I wouldn't have imagined we'd be even this far now because it's it was a hell getting it ready. The original motor let go like two weeks ago, so it's been finding another block, parts, everything, getting it back together has been wild. We worked on it almost every day, so it's good to be here. <laughs> I did drag week in 2016. Okay. Yeah, this is the first like shootout style thing that he's put on, and I like it. I like it then because the rest of the week you're just running no one. You're running the time. This you actually have to race. Oh, dude, I'm fired up, man. I am fired up. Blazer's doing great. Blowing my mind. It blows my mind, I'm so happy. We had a struggle, you know, broke a couple motor plates, did some wheelies, crashed her down, went through a field, you know. But all in all, awesome. Now you're we got second place overall, and then now I'm in the finals for the heads up race. So, Blazer, all day, every day. It's my baby right here, Rocky. issues but really that's about it overall the cars worked real well this week so we're having a blast so like the coolest part about this whole week was this like legendary groundbreaking shootout you know you got a something that's never happened before normally the last day of a drag and drive event you're basically done you're tired make one run go home but no you're like you have to like recharge your batteries and come back and race and it's just exciting it's got to be exciting to watch like in the stands and on online so uh thank you matt for doing this it's super cool and i'm super pumped about it it was a tough week it's been hot man we didn't really know anything about this car as far as trying to go really fast with it but it's been fun so like every other race week it's been a blast going great going great ready for the finals yes sir tickled to death to be here i had a couple small parts failures we burned up two fuel pumps on the drive but other than that, uh, pretty trouble, problem free other than the fuel pumps. We had a great time, the, the views through the mountains are amazing. Really enjoyed the track at Bandemir and Pueblo, really nice.
okay. It was spitting and banging the whole way down the track, so either it's hurt or it went way lean, one or the other. I'm not sure which, but for sure. Yep, went rounds, and that's what we like to do. So tons of fun doing a heads up deal on race week. I mean, I hope they keep doing this because this is our deal. I want to thank all of the people who came out as far as fans goes, uh, all of our racers. It was a great week. It went super smooth. Can't thank our sponsors enough. Uh, everybody just did a great job this year. I think it, after we've been doing this for eight years, I feel like as many cars as we had, it was probably one of the smoothest ones we've had. In September, 2.0 will be coming up. Uh, if you watch the coverage, you realize that there's a thing called Road Week. We do have all of the Race Week spots sold, but Road Week, you can come sign up. You can do everything that the racers have done, uh, possibly even get some passes if everything goes smooth, but you get everything that the racer gets. Only thing you don't get normally is going down the track, but we've kind of tried to change that to get that to where you guys can at least make a couple tap passes down the track. It's super fun. Bring your hot rod, lots of prizes for Road Weekers, Spirit, uh, coolest car. So even if you, are, if you get your RV, you can follow along with your RV. It's like the power tour of race week. So check it out, come sign up, come out, bring your family and have a lot of fun. So thanks to everybody for coming. Hope to see you guys next year.